Welcome back, friends and fans. I'm Moro, and this is our Timberborn series. We're playing on a custom map with a difficulty that's twice as hard as hard mode. On the last episode, we rebuilt our potato farm that you can see right here in front of your eyeballs. Ooh, tasty. <laughs> this episode, we're gonna... I asked you guys if you felt like... If you, if you felt happy with the look and style that I was going for here, or that I ended up with, not that I was going for. And, uh, yeah, yeah, seems like you're digging it. So we're gonna finish it, we're gonna finish the front, because the front of it looks kind of barren now. And then we were also blowing away this mound over here to try and get this forester to, uh, to work right. There's, there's, loving those stutters, man. Can't get rid of them anymore. I don't know, I don't know what's happening. Um, yeah, so we're gonna do that. Uh, that's gonna be, like, part one. Part one of plan zero. <laughs> <laughs> or something for the episode because uh that'll be done pretty quick like we just we just got to do that and then it's done and then and then and then we might get started doing storage things for our industry that we're flying over <laughs> um but i'm not sure i mean mostly I, I i would like to just focus on on doing the storage thing but we gotta we gotta finish what we were doing last episode uh let's check out let's check out this uh nighttime situation over here Ooh, potato campfire chestnut rest stop park area is looking really nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it is. The beavers like it. Look at them enjoying. Yeah, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. On to the episode. I think it's time. It's time for the. It's Tapper Shack time. <laughs> It's Tapper Shack time! Maybe that can be secondary purpose of the episode. Tapper Shack episode! <laughs> Alright, here's the problem with the Tapper Shack situation. Uh, because this is all grown in and we have no, no way down, we can't, we can't actually do anything, like remove trees to make, like, room for stuff. So, I'm gonna remove the roads here. And I gotta platform down and do stairs, just so they, they can reach down there. And then remove some of the trees so we can actually do something in here. I think we're going to move the trees like over here maybe. And then then we'll be able to build like more permanent stairs so that we can actually do work. Because right now these stairs, they're not going to, the build range will reach. But that's all that's going to happen. So they're not going to be able to like, actually, there no structures can be down there. Because that's outside the range. As far as the farm area goes, I'm not sure where, I mean, I guess the answer is to go like right here. Like, if we go, like, that's that's where the land divots, so maybe we just cut straight across, like, all the way across like that. It seems a little much, but I don't know. I mean, what else What what else would we do? That's what that's what would fit. I'm not sure if the farmhouse... No, the farmhouse is end right there. So that's going to be that's gonna be a stretch. They might not be able to reach all that, but what else are we going to do? I mean, otherwise, I, like, knock it out here, but then we have this weird divot and just doesn't look right, and it would bother me, so, so that's what we're going to do. <laughs> We're gonna ruin all our roads and things. They call me Moro, the road breaker. I have been slowly chipping away at this, by the way, as you can tell, <laughs> just little by little. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't really felt it necessary to show every single little tiny explosion, just because at some point I imagine it's wearing on you guys. You know, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it is. <laughs> I don't know what to say. But that is almost down all the way, so. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray. I'm pausing this whole, uh, lumber production over here. Because I want to see, I want to see just how much the front can do. And how much it can handle. So, if we get rid of this, then we'll be able to find out just how much more the front area is doing. Because right now, it's like, if it's fully grown in, but they're, they're not, uh, they're not, they're not really doing a lot of cutting. Which I don't mind, because it does look cool. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. But uh, our wood storage all is all packed up, so I think we got too much production happening. So this we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna chill out on this this thing for a minute. Last level, and I don't think I need this thing anymore. Although, I guess I should do that last piece. That last piece is important. <laughs> but the rest, they should be able to just get from the bottom like it did last time. Because the stairs are right here. So if they can reach it up top, they should be able to reach it below. I hope. I mean, I guess we'll find out. I'll wait on deleting things. Because I'm a smart boy. 
All right, they were able to make it over here, so we're gonna do... Gonna... I don't know. I guess I'm gonna get rid of that. And I gotta get rid of this, because I need to put a road going over there. Do I? No, maybe I don't. I need to not... I need to blow this down, but to do that, I need, uh... I need to get over there and clear it up. I'm trying to figure this out. It's confusing. I guess, really, I just need to clear up, like, a few pieces over here so that we can do stairs? Yeah. Yeah, I think that makes sense. So let's do... Like, just that? I think that would do it, actually. If this can reach. I think it should be able to reach. Yeah. It's like a finger pointing at us. <laughs> like, uh... <laughs> there's even the thumb. <laughs> saying, you. You demand. You demand, dude. And now to do that again. This is gonna be annoying. Do I really? Yeah, I guess I really gotta do that. I mean, I could do it in here, but eh, whatever. It doesn't make a difference, I don't think. We might need a road, unfortunately. <laughs> Alright. Gonna do it just like that. That's good. It's fine. It'll, it'll be alright. It'll work out. Sort of. What are we gonna do right here? This little tiny plot of land can't really change. So maybe, maybe we put like hauler posts or something over here? That might be okay. Maybe that's where we move them to? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe we put... You know what? Maybe this needs a walkway over here. How about that? How about we do that? Or not even. We can even make that better. Ooh. How about that? That's alright. Right? Maybe we do a little bit of leisure. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> uh, okay. Whatever. It works. It works if it works. It's working. Right? Yeah. Looks stupid, but it works. <laughs> Time to get rid of the road. Goodbye, road. Hello, dynamite. The finger saying, go that way. I don't want to die. <laughs> Do we think this is enough lumberjacks? I mean, we got we got a bunch of haulers. Haulers are just better at hauling. Go figure. I mean, look at them. Go. Look at look at them go. Look at all look at all them logs. So I feel like it might be enough. They have a relatively short distance to run to the wood stores now instead of being like all over the goddamn map, you know. Um. So I don't know. The I did I did design our little uh our little forestry loading platform things so that like we could just add more. So like if we wanted to, we could obviously just build three more platforms and stick them right there, and it's it would be fine. So. I don't know. That might be a thing at some point. Working on the Tapper Shack time. Working on the Tapper Shack. Do, 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 do. Okay. That should give us everything we need to get rid of this. That's a, It's like a very, uh, you know. <laughs> you would think I'd learn my lessons and like clear stuff out like this before completely surrounding it with walls, but, it, but I don't. I don't. I don't. I haven't. And I refuse to. <laughs> but that should do it. I'll just need to put stairs there, and then they can clear that up, and then they can we can dynamite that, and then and then we can figure it out. We just do this all in a row, one at a time. I mean, they'll just build the next one, and then the next one. That way, we don't have to like do stairs or anything annoying like that. Assuming they can reach all this, I'm just I'm just I'm just hoping and praying and betting that they can, because I'm not even sure like doing anything with this would change much. I mean, I suppose I could build another staircase here that would give him one more step, but that's... I don't think that makes a difference. I don't think that makes a difference enough that I think I'm just going to delete this. I don't know what's going to happen to that one beaver there. What do we think? Oh, okay. He just teleported downward. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. And then we can finally get rid of the... F I guess... Sh shouldn't have gotten rid of those platforms. <laughs> I needed them. Ooh, they like our little, uh... Little terrace that we built for them. <laughs> Look at there, there was like a waiting line almost. That guy was just standing there waiting to get in. It's a popular, uh, popular destination, I guess. <laughs> Underwater explosion extravaganza. Ooh. Since we built the other one, I figure maybe we we'll go over here too. We can do. Uh, I don't like that. That's that's the thing. That's the thing right there. That beaver statue. 
Kind of looks out of place too, doesn't it? No, I'm okay with it. All right, screw it. <laughs> screw it. We're doing it. We're going live. <laughs> it's time for the hand. The hand. The claw. The claw. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. All right. Now. Now what? <laughs> All right. First of all, let's reconnect the thing. That's step one. So we're going to do like little dual staircase thingies like that. Okay. So that's that done. That's going to be like that. And then, and then what? I guess I should unpause everything or just the three things. <laughs> All right. I guess I should let him build this and then we'll figure it out. I'm going to just delete this forester. And I'm going to turn on one lumberjack so that somebody at least is getting these maples. Because I, I, I don't want to waste them. So we'll chop them down. And then uh, we'll, see, we'll see what happens after that. And I guess I guess we're still working on this. Okay, these two pieces are too far. That's not good. Uh, 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 uh. I possibly don't have a way to fix that. Except doing something crazy, like building a platform all the way across three levels high. So, I'm just going to preemptively do that, because it just feels like I'm going to have to anyway. And if I don't, then fine. But I feel like I do, so I will. <laughs> so, it's just going to be... And then, like, straight across over here. My plan worked! It's time to take this tiny shelf down. Yay! What do we think? Does that look? I think that looks alright. Kind of, kind of cute little, little area. Yeah, yeah. I'm feeling all right about it. The tank is finished. That's it. Look at the clean lines. Yes. Oh shh. No, no. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot about those pieces. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Okay, well, as soon as that's done, we'll be done. Ooh. That was for the Tepper Shack. Alright, well, it's time, it's time for some Moro chat time again. <laughs> Your guys' favorite. It's chat time with Moro. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what to do about the Tepper Shack. Because, like, we could... We could elevate him and have him be, um, like above the tree line, like the other ones, like the like the lumberjacks, or we could we could bury him inside, as like a like a like a little lodge in the woods type of a thing, and I'm not sure which one to do, so I'm asking you guys, <laughs> uh, what do you guys think? Alternatively, you could just stick them on top of the wall and not worry about it, but that seems boring. So I'm not sure. I'm I'm, on a, I'm honestly torn, so I'm not going to do it this episode. So I'm torn between between making a little cutout for him, like underneath, like maybe like right next to the stairs or something, or or to have another platform on top that, you know, that then he just takes the stairs downward from. Sure, I don't know. Let me know. This has been... Chat time with Moro. I just realized it's possible that the reason they couldn't reach over there was because I didn't put any road pieces over here. That might have worked and that might have saved a lot of energy. <laughs> uh, it's too late now because we're about to build the last platform. But lessons were learned. Probably not. Maybe. They were, maybe were learned. Learned something. And yeah, that can reach now. That wasn't very smart of me at all. <laughs> It, it is, is done. done. It is done. Our quest is over. Oh my goodness, that took forever. All right, Forrester can reach everything. Cool, we're done. We're done. <laughs> my God. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy to be done in this corner of the map. Map corner is finished. <laughs> plan zero part one is done. Or is it part one plan zero? I don't know, man, what, whatever it was, whatever the hell it was, it's done. Ooh, our farmers are back in business. <laughs> They're back in business. <laughs> and I am back to no business. Because now I got to figure out 
What to do here? <laughs> Pause and ponder time. <laughs> Alright, first of all, we're gonna do a forester up here, because we'll probably need him for something. And then... And then I gotta figure out how to make this work. I might need to clear this up a bit to make this straight. Maybe. I don't know. I'm probably gonna do a little, uh, little time-lapse time for you guys. Of me trying to figure this out. <laughs> make it, like, super fast. Like, 2,000 speed. I'll try and keep my camera spinning to a minimum. Alright, I guess, uh, I guess we're there. I hope, uh, I hope that time-lapse was entertaining. <laughs> um, this wasn't too painful. It's just a matter of figuring out what I wanted. Uh, it was, it was recommended that I do blueberries. Right, by our resident, uh, by a resident, uh, agricultural beautification expert. And, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe. I, so I, I put some there. I put some there. Well, let's, 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 we can, we can, we can, we can press play. Um, so we'll see how they end up looking. Because, I mean, they'll look really nice once they have blueberries on them. But when they don't, I don't know. They just kind of look like little bushes that are boring. <laughs> so, I don't know. We might, we might, we might change the blueberries to something else. But, aside from that, I think it's, I think it's going to look pretty cool. Throwing down some serious resources here. <laughs> Hopefully the farmhouses, yeah, they can reach everything. Alright, so at least that part's good. Feeling, feeling okay about this. Feeling that it's a, it's a nice little, nice little hole. Flame of Progress, I think, is going to fit in with the campfires. And I got the little, some little shrines. Shrines are back. Shrines are back, people. They're back. They're back. <laughs> and, uh, and, and uh, an excessive amount of statues. I, I didn't really know how to make that fit. But whatever. Whatever. It's all good. It's all good. This is it. It's done. It's done. Stamp of approval. What do we think? I think that Flame of Progress doesn't fit in. And the blueberries, I think the blueberries are not doing it for me. I mean, they still gotta grow out, so maybe, maybe gotta wait in that. I could just put more chestnuts there, just all the way down. That would look cool, too. Couple of little benches in between, maybe. I don't know, maybe it'll get better when the blueberries are a little bigger. I'll, I'll leave them for now and just, uh, just see how it goes. The rest of it, I think I'm pretty happy with, though. I think the rest of it's looking pretty cool. And the farmers... Well, they, uh, they can mostly reach. <laughs> they can independently reach everything. This guy's missed a little corner, and that guy's missed a little corner. But aside from that, they're they're okay. I think I'm gonna move all our uh, hauling posts and builders huts over here. It's gonna be part of our restructuring effort for storage, <laughs> which isn't happening yet, but it will. But it will. So can we? No. All right, there we go. I fixed it. This is seemingly the best that I could do. <laughs> Alright, my plan for storage. Let's talk about it. Let's pause. We pause and talk about it. <laughs> um, so we just moved all the builder sergeant and stuff and everything else. So my plan is to basically blow this shelf down and build storage warehouses like we have over here. Basically the same exact thing, just not as high. They'll just sit right here in inside the land like the other one does. And that'll be the functioning wing of, uh, of the industry. And, I mean, and, like, the farm. The farm, we farms over here, so we can store more stuff. But, but the point is that 
this land can blow down because it's not it's not really doing anything for us and uh i think that would be pretty useful and it'll be right there and and as a bonus we can actually connect the uh the lumber storage over here through the side and uh connect it to our industry that's all that's my plan i'm not sure that plan is going to be this episode but that is my plan let me know what you think about it in the comments <laughs> I decided to try out and uh, and see how this looks over here. I'm gonna put a forester first so he can plant more maples over here. And then after that, I'm gonna put the tapper shack. Like nuzzled, nuzzled amongst the trees. Maybe he can nuzzle in this direction. Will that be better? Maybe that'll be better. Also, just to keep this train moving, I'm gonna drop some more water tanks over here. The drought is over. Not that it super matters. <laughs> At least not really. We got a three day timer. Not the longest wet season we could have had, but it's okay. It's okay, we'll be okay. While I was going about the wet season, I had a thought that maybe it was time that we get access to the mine so we can do... Because I, I was thinking about doing platforms for something, and the big platforms are uh, 500 metal each. Which is <laughs> nuts. <laughs> um, but we're going to need them. And I realized getting to the mine is going to be kind of, a, kind of a pain that we need a bridge, I guess. The only efficient way to get there, I suppose. And, uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess we would have to go through our, uh, our area here, huh? So I was thinking of something like that. That's six spots away from there. But that has to go be blown down a little bit first. And then it would just connect over here. So the stairs would have to be adjusted a little bit. That's all. Do we think that looks... I think it looks kind of alright. I think it looks kind of cool. <laughs> I guess we should just do it. <laughs> Ay yay. Be like that. And I guess we have to blow that down. Because I wanted to, like, loop around, go down. It's not the most efficient or greatest looking way to do it. But it's the way we're going to do it. <laughs> so, the chestnut trees came in. And I was just looking at them and thinking how the labor monument looks... I mean, it looks alright. But it definitely would look way cooler if the flame of progress was over there. So... Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna delete that. And, uh, I'm gonna swap them and waste 1200 wood. <laughs> nice. Huh? Are you guys proud of me? I hope you're proud of me. Oh, yeah, that's gonna look so cool. Like amongst the trees and everything. Yeah, I like that. And this guy, this guy will look alright with the blueberry bushes, maybe. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. We can blow that up and build our bridge that oh it's too long it's a five piecer and then if we just do a path underneath it all connects and works and it's fine this isn't the most elegant switch around over here but uh i don't know man for now for now that i'll have to do that is the most direct path going down across in there technically going straight from this path like straight across would be better but i don't think the bridge is i mean i guess they technically technically it would just be on top of right here I mean, it might be okay. We wouldn't be able to have the little roof thing there. And there's no no way up over here. Or, yeah, no. No. I'm just not doing that. We're going to do it the way that I said. I think that looks better anyway. We do have to blow this down. And I don't know how to do that. I guess maybe the easiest way is to just delete this fence for now. That, that way I don't have to mess with the potatoes. And then just do that. That'll work fine. And then once I blow this down, I can get rid of the staircase. Because uh, then we could just use the bridge to run over there. And figure out how we're going to get up top. So we're about half a day away from the wet season being finished, and uh, you can see the massive amount of difference that it makes. Because this tank is barely going to fill up, and obviously we're not going to get any water in the back tank. So the last, the last two uh, wet seasons, we got pretty lucky with, the being a, with them being long. This one's a much shorter one, so we're not, we're not getting nearly as much water. We're missing out on like days of water flow, which, is, uh, which can make a big difference. So that's, why, that's part of why you got to have like an, an absurd amount of tanks. <laughs> on the longer wet seasons, you got really got to take advantage, you know? 32 days. 32 days. That's not so bad. But it looks like we're at the 30-ish uh, the day mark for, uh, for every single drought now. It's time for everybody's favorite game. More temporary tanks. <laughs> the temporary tank game. <laughs> Our favorite. I want to move these tanks. I want to turn them sideways and maybe build a second row if we can make it. That's why we're doing temporary tank game. All right, it's done. What do we think? What do we think? I think that looks awesome. I really, I think, uh, 
swapping the statues that might have done it for me. Those blueberries are looking kind of okay now. I think the other statue is just too damn tall. So, I don't know. And that bridge is coming together. It's looking all right. It's looking all right. I don't know. What do we think? I'm okay. I think I'm okay with it. Do we, do we, do we want those blueberries to be uh, chestnut trees? That's the question. Question of the day. <laughs> Should the blueberries be chestnuts? Let me know. Also, I decided to uh, just stick the tapper shack over here. I guess I should clear the ground first. Hold on. Also, I decided to stick the tapper shack over here. <laughs> um, these are all going to grow in. And uh, I don't know. What do we think? Do we think he looks cool like nuzzled in there? I think he kind of looks cool nuzzled in there. I feel like that's, that's a more appropriate way for him to be. Maybe we could raise him up one level. Like I could stick him on some platforms, I guess. That might, that might look all right. Because then he'll be just like slightly above. Let's try that. Let's try that and see. Cause him being completely above, uh, above all these maples, just it just doesn't uh, doesn't look right. Somehow, I don't know. It doesn't feel right. I don't know if it doesn't look right because I didn't try it, but it doesn't feel right. How about that? That's I think that's the winner right there. I think that's looking good. I like his little house just poking out. He can still see outside the little skylights. He's got a little, you know, little windows. He can see outside those, and then uh, and that's it. He's like he looks out. He's like, oh, there's maple syrup over here. I'm going to go in that direction. I think that's all you need. I don't think it needs to be any more complicated than that. Right? Yeah. I think I'm happy with that. Maybe we need a second tapper shack. Maybe that's the answer. Maybe we do a second one like over here, but raised up the exact same way. <laughs> it might look cool. Did I guess correctly? I did. Ooh, nice. Good job, me. You did good. And this one's going to be the same way, elevated and... Tapper Shacky. Destruction. <laughs> Ooh. Ow. <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> this is like a whole mess back here, but I don't really want to blow it down. It seems like a waste. So just going to awkwardly platform it in. Yeah, the range is okay. I don't mind that. I think, I think it's still worth it to do them facing each other. So we're going to do that. All right, we're going to build those tanks, but it's possible that I end up bridging across over here just to give them a couple extra steps. Because if it's four stairs, that'll give them one extra step. And that means I'll be able to put an extra tank over here. And then that would change how, how the tanks are built on this side. And, uh, yeah, man, here we go. Here we go. Look, we already got chestnuts on there. Nice. And, uh, this is our bridge. What do we think? I think it looks pretty cool over here. As part of it. Because it's like a nice, you know, whatever, like rest area, farm, you know, we relaxed stuff. But it's, we're still about business. There's a bridge right there because there needs to be a bridge, you know? They're not, they're not like, going to forsake putting bridges there just, just to make it look nice. Plus, you know, they like bridges. It's cool. <laughs> and uh, these are a little tapper. Oh. Oh, I didn't think about that. <laughs> okay, so we built a little pathway, right? Uh, but we, they don't actually have a way to get down <laughs> to go gather. So... I guess the pathway idea doesn't work. All right, so that's going to be the tapper shacks. I think they're pretty cool, like, hovering above like that. Just just a little bit. They're still amongst the trees, but not quite, sort of, you know? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we're on cycle 24, and we got 25 days to go in this drought. Uh, we're getting pretty close to cycle 30, which is where we start hitting maximum difficulty, which is 30 to 60 days. So we're, we're, we're pretty damn close, man. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we started seeing, like, you know, 50-day droughts pretty soon, which is uh, a little terrifying, but <laughs> that's what it is. I think next episode is going to be focused on doing our storage. And then after that, after that, we'll see. I love you all. I'm Moro. Like the video, subscribe if you're not, and I'll catch you guys next time.